Jeez, watch out. Here ah. comes the Grinch. We're under fire. Holy shit. Wait, should I be drinking the beer right now? Well, it's that time of the year, everybody. Welcome back to WFO's 12 Rigs of Christmas. And yes, we're gonna do it again for 2022. Santa's back. So for the next 12 days, all the way up until Christmas, every night we're gonna release a video around five o'clock of one of our builds, one of our employee builds, or maybe just some rigs that we really, really like and that we've been a part of. But uh, you're gonna wanna stay tuned, watch these every night. So hold on and Get ready for the show. I'm gonna have a beer before we film this one coming up. I gotta take a leak real quick before we do this one, okay? Oh man, man, shake more than three times anymore these days. Next thing you know, you can't be driving a sleigh anymore. And kids can't sit on your lap. You're on some girl's list, Megan. You know? Hey. Hey, Santa. What's happening? <laughs> All right, so this is Chris, and he is actually new at WFO, uh, new starting, what, last July? Yep. And uh, he came in to be one of our installers, and in a couple weeks I said, no, that's not going to work out, and now you are the head service rider. So if anybody needs service or any work done on their Jeeps, they're calling into the shop, Chris is going to be your man. This is who you're going to talk to. And let me tell you, He's the right guy. So I didn't even realize this when he brought this Jeep to the shop, applied for the job, starts driving it to work every day. All of a sudden I noticed it's got a little bit of a rumble to it, right? So he actually has done a little something under the hood. So why don't you show us, first off, tell us what this is. So I did a 5.7 uh, Hemi swap. Oh, what vehicle is it? Oh, this is a 2007 Jeep Wrangler. 07 JK. Yep. So very first year. Yep. You know, not a Rubicon. Not a Rubicon. But, uh, so now I'm going It was ahead. a little bit uh, wrecked when I bought it. And I uh, bought this to build a trail rig for my girlfriend. So and, uh, that, that kind of spiraled that out of done. control. Okay. Well, uh, why don't you tell us a little bit about the axles first, and then we'll work into what's under the hood. So I found a Pro Rock 60, Dynatrack Pro Rock 60 in the rear. All right. Five so lug found it meaning like craigslist i found it like on that. facebook marketplace so that's sweet diatrack pro rock 60 that's a high pinion 60 it is right? a high pinion 60 so it means you're running on the weak side of the gears which yep. is a little bit of a downfall but it in is. a two-door having that drive line up at better drive line angle is a big deal yeah so pro rock 60 um what uh what do you got here the, this looks like uh 39 yeah 39 inch toyos on method rims on method b -locks. Okay, and uh, you are always, uh, you're always repping Factor 55, yep, aren't always, you? always. Anybody wants any Factor 55 parts, we're now stocking a ton of it, thanks to Chris. Um, clean, simple rear bumper. Uh, so tell us about the suspension. It's a metal quick short arm, uh, three and a half inch coils with uh, Radflow bypass shocks on it. And that's the key. Look right back around the back here. See those by bypass shocks? Those are two and a half bypasses. Those are two right? and a half bypasses. And you have them front and rear. Front and, and rear. And have you been playing with the little Allen oh, thingy majiggies? Yeah. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Constantly tweaking, adjusting. Constantly tweaking. Um, and you have the airlock sway this bar. This one display? here is actually not air. This is a manual one. So this one just. So that's the sway lock. What's that's that? That's the off-road only sway lock sway yep. bar. And you just flip that up you and just it disconnects. Flip that and it disconnects. Flip it back and it connects. Nice. In the front, it's air. Okay, same thing. So that's what these little lines are on this ram. You hit the button, boom, sway bar disconnects. Mm -hmm. um, and once again, rad, rad flow two and a half. Rad in flow there. two and a half. And then you have the PSC big bore box. I in do this. have the B PSC big bore box in there. And is there hydro assist on <laughs> nope. it? Nope, no need so for no it. So no hydro assist with 39s, and it turns it pretty good, oh, yeah. right? Oh, yeah. So looking underneath here, you got some kind of cool stuff. So you have reed knuckles, RCV axle shafts. Look at that. You got the rock lights on the knuckle so they turn while you turn, huh? Um, Fox steering stabilizer. Got the big uh, tie rod and drag link on there, just like what we sell. But this is not a 60. This is a Rubicon 44. 
So it's a Rubicon 44. That's okay. been sleeved. Sleeved, gusseted, yep. everything done to yep. it. Um, so you can get away with 39s on the 44 if you got the yeah. good stuff. Have you ever broken an axle shaft or a ring and pinion? Nope, never. So you can do it, you can break it, but that just shows that you drive right. Yeah. So come shows on. my girlfriend drives right. Right there. Passenger. Pass. One. All the way. Come on. Yeah. There you go, driver. Just open the hood. Show us what you got going here. All right. So that is not a 3.8 V6. No, it's not. So what is this? 5.7 Hemi. And you did it yourself, right? I did you it myself. You pulled the old motor, yep. you put the new motor. So one of the other benefits of me picking up Chris to come uh, service ride at WFO is he used to work with Todd at Jeep Speed. So yep. he started getting all the tricks and secrets about putting Hemis and LSs and JKs. And uh, you guys did this at Todd Shop? Yeah, we did this one at Jeep Speed Shop. And is this the factory wiring harness for this that? This is a, it's a wiring harness 457 Hemi that plug and play with the JK. That Jeep Speed sells? That Jeep Speed Shop sells, yes. Yep. And so you got dual Optimas in here, which I'm not a big fan of dual batteries, but you got them to fit in here clean. Mm -hmm. and That's then, a Jeep Speed Shop battery box as well. It's a Jeep Speed Shop battery box. And then do you have any management for turning from one battery to the I other? I don't, I don't. See, that's what I like. The so second one is only a spare to run the welder. And is it hooked up though in no. charging? Nope. Oh, so it just sits in there. Mm -hmm. Okay. All right, because you got like a ready welder or something. Mm -hmm. Oh, geez, watch out. Here ah. comes the Grinch, we're under fire. Holy shit. <laughs> Oh. <laughs> Back to the Jeep. Back to the Jeep. Damn Grinch. Uh, PSC Hydro Assist? No, no Hydro sorry. Assist. P you said Big Bore yeah, Box. Yeah, just the pump, the reservoir, the reservoir Big Bore Box. Airb dual compressor underneath yeah. the hood. Anything else under the hood that stands out? Not really. Nothing really, huh? No. Yeah, just an aftermarket nope. radiator. Does this aftermarket come radiator. Does this come The most important part of this whole swap, though, yeah. is this part right here. Ha <laughs> ha. Look at that. Carb legal from the Jeep Speed Shop. So yep. anybody that wants to do their, their JKs, uh, talk to Todd. He's booked way out, but he does know how to get this done, and this is proof. And uh, I'm stoked that you actually went through the whole process. Yeah. So I believe I've never ridden in this Jeep. I think we need to go for a ride. Yeah, let's go for a ride. All right. So it has an eight-speed transmission. No lights on on the dash with the Hemi. The factory gear indicator still works. It shows first gear. You put it manual transmission. I can manually shift it up to second. And like that will change all the way up to six, like as we drive in auto or in manual. It just won't do seven and eight. The uh, factory computer doesn't have the capability to do that. But that's the best part no check engine lights on. You have a 5.7 Hemi with an 8-speed. What's that 8-speed come out of? Uh, Dodge Charger or Challenger. Or you got to open it. You got 60 by the light. That's pretty good. That is awesome with the 8-speed. Holy moly. Love it. Back in the drive. Then you got the air fuel mixture right there. No, that's just temperature and not voltage. Temperature and Nothing voltage. fancy. Okay. Yeah. Grab handle here, grab handle there. What's up with this big mirror? I saw I can see my kids in the back. You mean your dogs? Yeah, it might be my dogs. Yeah, yeah. I got you. So anyway, you'll probably see Chris. He goes on Jeepers Jamboree, Sierra Track, Jeep Jamboree. He's always out there on the trail, always wheeling, has a ton of knowledge about Jeeps, builds, everything going on. He's got a Hemi in his JK. Um, so if you want have any questions or want to get anything worked on, he's the guy to call. So don't forget, for the next 12 days, we're going to be running a 12% off sale on all the WFO products on the website. No code needed. All you got to do, Go on to the website, get a 12% discount for the 12 rigs of Christmas, right up until Christmas. See ya.
Well, it's that time of the year, everybody. And I hope you start Damn it. You got 60 by the light, that's pretty good. That is awesome with the 8-speed. 